So uh, how are schools supported? Uh, I already mentioned a little bit. So consultancy is one point. Um, they are they are consulted through uh, qualified personnel um, who work in the uh, Ministry of Education, and uh, the way we consult them um, depends, like from phone calls to uh, emails, and even on demand, we go to schools. And um, ne oh, sorry, networking is the other issue. Uh, we organize meetings two to three times a year so that schools can have contact with each other and learn from one another, which we also regard as very important. And um, training, as I already mentioned, that uh, on the one hand, the training of the CREAMS delegate, and on the other hand, um, we also provide schools on-site trainings for teachers, um, the whole group. We provide them with documentation, which um, includes not only um, formal material like administrative forms and everything, but also content related, pedagogical content related documentation. And last but not least <laughs> is the financial support. Um, per year, every school gets um, around, I mean, between 30 to 60,000 francs which is equivalent to 20,000 to 40,000 euro, or if I say in US dollar, it's 28,000 to 56, I guess, and um, other currencies I didn't really calculate. But it is quite a big support, and the schools get this support uh, according to their size, um, according to the number of students they have. Um, there are three issues on which the schools have to work on, and um, these are this is the uh, more or less the only frame that we give them. The three topics are one of them is the language empowerment. This is something we really um, reinforce and uh, want the schools to that they work on, and um, this is achieved by. Establishing an intensive reading and writing culture in the schools. There are lots of reading and writing uh, projects going on. And team teaching is another issue to support learners of German as a second language. We have um, t special teachers for um, students who have German as a second language and they teach together with the classroom teachers. And another way is to collaborate with teachers of minority languages. We have um, two to four hours a week um, minority language classes, and uh, collaboration with them is another issue for the language empowerment. Um, sorry. <laughs> and we encourage also parents to support their children's language development. As previously mentioned, parents' involvement is also an important issue for us in the program. The second topic that the schools uh, work on is enhancing the achievement. We already, uh, both of us, uh, Lloyd and myself, uh, mentioned the low achievement problem. And here is also something which is already told from uh, Canada, that the high expectancy and uh, a resource, resource orientation is an important issue that we don't really uh, work deficit oriented but resource oriented and we expect uh, more from these students than uh, we previously maybe expected. Um, quality assurance is uh, through individualized evaluation and instruction, um, progress planning and supporting of students that every student has um, the possibility to work on his or her own way. And um, assistance is the support offered to the students to achieve the next school level, which um, needs a little bit maybe more explanation because in Switzerland we have a highly uh, selective school system. After the sixth grade, students are placed uh, in three levels of secondary school. and um, for the highest level, it's like around maybe 10% of the kids that uh, go to these schools. Um, there are um, centrally organized 
entrance exams. And um, cream school sometimes, oops, um, no, okay, <laughs> sometimes uh, give support in this. I'm sorry for the slide. Okay, the third topic we are working on is the encouraging of integration. Um, we have here like uh, building a culture of acceptance and equal opportunities in the school. This is uh, very much about the school climate that uh, what was also mentioned from Toronto. And uh, developing the awareness of a school community feeling through school rules, rituals, and other measures. That, were, that is another issue. Managing conflicts and developing intercultural skills. These kids um, do live and have to live with, them, with each other, so they really need to uh, develop their intercultural skills. Um, not only the uh, local ones with the migrant ones, but migrant, one, migrant children also with each other have to communicate uh, on a good way. And um, education towards a better understanding of democracy is uh, is something which the schools work on. And uh, at last, it's the involvement of parents, which I also already mentioned. We try that the schools uh, have regular contact, or the schools try themselves. I mean, not we, uh, the officers, but the schools are working in this program. They have regular contact with uh, with the parents, and they inform the parents. They make events, they make um, parents' education, and um, they provide also intercultural um, mediators or interprets uh, in the cases where the parents don't speak the local language. So what made the program successful? There was a question uh, which was um, which was asked from Kim, uh, so I've tried to put it together. These are some of the points that are so nicely um, the same as Lloyd already uh, brought, so, uh, but I have no trouble to tell them once more. I just really like to hear that uh, success comes uh, with the same issues independent of the country. So accepting diversity as a fact and as normal is uh, one of the most important points to start with. And uh, accepting the schools as learning and developing organizations is uh, another issue which uh, we have to accept and uh, base our resources on. Schools are learning. Schools develop their own programs. We have to give them financial and content-related assistance. They cannot do by themselves. They uh, need this. And these three predefined areas seem to uh, give uh, bring success. Like, um, and if they focus their objectives on these uh, areas, which I previously mentioned, it is a part of the program which uh, brings success. And lately, uh, lastly, I also have the point the interplay of different reforms that we are all having in Zurich is certainly also a point to mention. Um, that um, it needs a background which um, a government who is uh, behind the program and who supports the schools in different ways. So thank you very much um, for being so patient and uh, listening to me.